Hi and welcome to another episode of Strategy in 10 Minutes by me, Fran, from Underwing. Today we're going to talk about how to set up and run a business when you have special educational needs, also known as SEN. Uh, setting up and running a business is a difficult thing um, whoever you are, whatever your needs are, whatever your background is, uh, whether you've had businesses before or not, um, it is a complicated and structured thing. Uh, so uh, it needs preparation, it needs planning, it needs taking into consideration all sorts of things, whether you have special educational needs or not. Now, in the case of people with special educational needs, there are some extra little things that you might want to consider. Uh, but this is also true if you are a single mom, so you've got limited time, maybe limited money, um, limited um, childcare, uh, if you have specific life situations. So what we want to do is not look at our situation as if it was um, crippling. We want to look at it and identify the problems and identify ways to get around these problems. Uh, when we have special educational needs, might this be physical needs, might this be mental uh, special needs. Um, obviously there are some things we will be better at doing, some things we will be worse at doing and obviously there are going to be some things we cannot do. But this is true for everyone. There are people who absolutely cannot do admin even in the neurotypical world. There are people who can't get meetings to go right even in the neurotypical uh, world and in the world of people with no special needs. What we do when we have special needs is we plan around it. So setting up a business and running your own business is a process that is absolutely the same for everyone. You have an idea for a business, you verify if that business is feasible, you look at what resources and tools uh, and money and time you have got, at what knowledge and skills you have got to start this business. You look into money, budgeting, how much is going to cost you to start the business, have you got this money, do you have to find it, so do you need a business plan? I suggest you do a business plan anyway, whether you need money to start a business or not. Uh, and then you run. Once you start on running and you decided that the business is feasible, that you can do it with your resources and your skills, you start running. So you go through the planning, you go through the execution and you start your business. You start offering your product or your service. You advertise it, uh, you start getting clients in. And once you start getting clients in, you have to make those clients happy. You have to deliver what you promised. What I suggest you do is, whilst you go through the phases I have just highlighted, you look at how your special need might become an impediment, but also at how your special needs might make you succeed over people who don't have your same characteristics, your same skills. Uh, let's make some practical examples. Let's say you are on the spectrum, you have some form of autism and this makes it so that you have an exceptional memory and you are particularly skilled in everything that is admin, organizing or um, keeping a database. This is going to be one of your strong points. But let's say you don't have a particularly big predisposition for face-to-face -face meetings. So we're going to look at how can we still run the meetings? Because if you are selling a product or service, unless you have the funds to hire salespeople for you and you just have to think 
about developing the product or the service, then if at the beginning you have to do everything, you're going to have to think, how am I going to get around this? And there is many ways that are, uh, for example, one option might be that you decide only one day of the week is for meetings if they drain you. And then the rest of the week is taken working at your own pace and trying to take breaks to rebuild that buffer that you need to cope with society. Or you might think that Zoom meetings are better than in-person meetings. So try to set up your business so that your meetings are all made through Zoom or any other platform that uh, allows you to make video calls. Um, if you have, say you are in a wheelchair, so you and you do say you are in a wheelchair and you offer a product, you offer cupcakes and it, there will be some impediment to you delivering the product you offer, you are going to have to sit down and find a way so that your delivery process is straightforward and it's easy for you and for your clients. So this is what we do and um, it is really what you do with every business even when you don't have special needs. You sit down, you break it down into everything you need to start that business and to start running and to deliver your product or service and you look at what impediments could there be because of your situation and how are you going to solve this? One very important thing is not to identify only one solution. So if I have crippling anxiety and I cannot go out in the world, I'm going to offer Zoom meetings, which are fine with me. And I am going to have to think that some days I am not going to want to be on video. So I'm going to tell my clients that they can get a video call a month, but not more than that. Or I am going to tell them that some months the call might just be a normal call. Or I am going to tell them sometimes I need to do consultations through chat only. Um, if I want to find an alternative delivery method. Sometimes it might be me delivering through a taxi round. Sometimes it might be someone I hire that I maybe I can afford once a week. So I will tell my clients because I cannot do the delivery for you. Someone is gonna do deliveries, but I only deliver on the Wednesday. Um, I'm going to have to find some promotions. If you come and collect your product from me, you get a discount or you get a voucher for a free service, a free product, 10% off next time you buy. So always look at what the problems might be, what the impediments are and find alternative ways around them. Obviously, as I said at the beginning, running a business is a complicated um, thing to do uh, and it needs help. So when you sit down looking at what you can excel in, at what you can get round, there are also going to be things that you cannot um, get round or you cannot solve. And this is where we look for help. We look for helpers. There is a lot of help around for people with special needs maybe you could get funding from your council you could get assistance you can get um that there, there is help through uh, centers and associations so you can get help through this kind of things once you have planned all this in advance is going to be easier to start running your business and it's going to be a little bit more straightforward and a little bit of a smoother trip. Uh, prepare for things that might go wrong because they always do and this is not because you have special needs, it's because this is how business works. Uh, prepare for uh, moments where you're gonna have to reassess and start again prepare for moments where in days where you might want to not work at all wake up and decide that is a netflix day and that is fine too because we all need time 
to uh, reset uh, and recreate the buffer we need to get out and face the world. So once you have done all this planning, you have done all of this, uh, looking at what could go wrong and looking at what um, how, or ways you can get around, where do you need help and you have put in place all of these things, I guarantee you that you are able to run a successful business. I have helped many special needs entrepreneurs start and run their own business successfully and I know this is possible for every one of you. So best of luck and if you have any questions do get in touch. My email is fran at underwingliverpool.com. My website is www.underwingliverpool.com. You can reach me through social media, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at underwinglpl. That's short for Liverpool. Uh, or you can just comment under this video. I hope to see you soon for the next video of the series, which is going to be about identifying your ideal client. I'll see you soon.